Hello loves, my name is Kay Hill of Loxcessories.com. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a little DIY with me. I'm going to bring you along as I transform my studio into, which is actually a second bedroom, um, so it serves as my studio slash home office slash guest bedroom. But the problem is that it's taking up too much space. I'm feeling a little cluttered, a little uh, closed in in here, and the bed behind me is really not getting a lot of use. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to totally do away with the bed because if guests come over, I want to have a place, a second place for them to sleep or myself to sleep. I'm going to have you join me for a little over-the-shoulder DIY as I swap out this bed behind me, which is actually a day bed, and I'm going to build or attempt to build a Murphy bed craft table desk. Murphy bed craft table desk. All the things. Let's get started. Now I'm actually a little embarrassed to show you this room right now because it is a hot mess and I'll let you see. I have my day bed here which I actually don't really use um, and it ends up collecting a lot of clutter. Um, supplies and products and and things that I'm prepping for orders and it just becomes a catch-all um, and I don't like that. I also don't like how everything over here which is my desk is becoming really cluttered and I'm feeling a little claustrophobic so what I'm going to do like I said is I'm going to swap out this day bed which doesn't get much use as a day bed and I'm going to build a Murphy bed craft table. So this is a quick little pan of the before, right? Look at the mess, look at the mess, oh lots of mess. And we're going to clean that up. So let's get started. So this is the inspiration for my Murphy bed craft table. I found this picture online and there were no instructions, no links to uh, how to purchase or where or how to get more access, more information. So um, I decided to draft, to make my own and to draft out some instructions. I did a quick sketch, which um, you see here, and then mapped out what tools and materials I would need in order to build the Murphy bed craft table. Disassembling the frame actually took me a lot longer than I was expecting. So if this little montage seems a bit long, it's because it took me a lot longer than I was than I thought it would take me to take this thing apart. I think it's probably best with two people. But we're going to push through. I push through. So hang in there with me and we'll keep going. Okay, so now we've cleared out the day bed and gotten it out of the room. And now I've brought in the pieces for the Murphy bed. I surfed Craigslist and found a twin bed, which I'll show you here.
And what I'm going to do is instead of using it as a twin bed, I'm going to turn it on its side to make the murky bed. So let's get started. It seems that I have bought the wrong wing nut for um, putting together the bed. I bought one fourth inch and I measured it and it said one fourth inch, but I guess you're supposed to get a little bit bigger and I'm not really sure. So I'm going to go back to Home Depot. I'm actually here now and I'm going to head in and ask for some help uh, because I'm not sure which uh, hex nut actually want a wing nut. I'm not rich, sure which size to get and it's delaying my project. Okay, so let's go. So now that I've got the twin bed frame connected and assembled, you see that I've turned it on its side. And this is a close up, a really close up view of the plywood board that I'll be using as the base of the uh, mattress. And you'll see how that comes together shortly. So I'm actually going to use peel and stick laminate for the inside of the base board or the, the board that the mattress will rest on. And that's just to avoid uh, splinters and anything because it's raw wood. So you'll see me here placing that on the inside of the board. This is where the mattress will actually rest. Now, a quick tip for you here, if you do decide to go the vinyl laminate route, don't peel off the backing all at once. Peel it slowly and section by section. You see how closely I hold the, the backing to the surface? That's to avoid air pockets and air bubbles that you'll have to um, fix later. So just keep it close and keep it tight.
Now I'll be using a 72 inch piano hinge to attach the plywood board to the bottom of the twin bed frame and that's what's going to auto magically turn it into a Murphy bed. And here I kept it real basic. I used bungee cords actually to hold the mattress to the baseboard and then I attached door stoppers to the bottom so that when you fold it out it would still have the same height all the way across. I'm placing the vinyl boards on the other side of the plywood to give it a more finished look. So I actually had some scrap pieces of leather around the house and they came in quite handy because I used them to make the straps that are going to hold the hinges which will keep the bed platform in an upright position when it's not in use. So as you can see here I'm making two loops just by folding the ends on top of each other at an angle and that's what will be used to hold the hinges at the bottom well actually they'll hold the hinges when the platform the bed is not in use and it's in its upright position all these little pieces of scraggly blue tape are what I use to keep the vinyl pieces from sliding while the adhesive dries. So now I'm going to take them off. And now you can see the Murphy bed part of the project is finished and it's finally start to, starting to come together. Um, you can see here how it looks when the Murphy bed is out and ready for guests. And now we're going to attach the table part of the project. This is kind of where my camera started to die out on me. And um, I don't have video footage of me actually putting the table on top of the Murphy bed. But I will show you some finished pictures of once I put it on there. Actually all I did was put it, lay it on top with more of the adhesive that I used, the same adhesive, um, the flooring adhesive that I used for the vinyl planks. And now it's time for the big reveal. So take a look.
is another one of my Craigslist finds. They actually call me the Craigslist queen around these parts. And it's because I always find great deals on Craigslist. And I just had to have these because I thought that they looked really well. They went really well with the Murphy bed craft table. What do you think? <laughs>